Hey team, I thought I'd give you a quick rundown of something I'm going to be loading, uh, hopefully in a number of places, but we're going to be trying it out on Physicians Alliance. Uh, basically, we've got uh, a challenge with some of the plugins are taking a while to load. It's impacting the page speed, uh, which you can see here. Uh, when I first came in, I'm getting a 75 out of 100, uh, and, and it's a few different items. It's um, uh, images that need to be addressed, it's some render blocking JavaScript, some CSS that's not being delivered, and basically there are plugins that are loading on every page regardless of whether or not we need them. So one thing I'm doing is I am installing a plugin called Plugin Organizer, and it gives you the ability to turn off certain plugins globally and then turn them on on only the page where you need them. Now I have uploaded it and installed it. Uh, I am going to uh, s turn on selective plugin loading. Now this requires one additional thing that I had to do and that's in the MU plugins copy this plugin organizer mu.class.php from the plugin folder, which uh, was over here. Give me a second. It was uh, right here under lib. Okay. So see this? Uh, I copied this into the MU folder, and that's what is going to allow this to do selective. So I've turned this on. I'm going to save the settings. Now, one thing I've, I've already done, and I've, I've spent a little bit of time on this website already. Uh, my page speed, as you could see, was 75 out of 100. Uh, I do have that up to 85 out of 100 if we look here, or I'm sorry, 84. Um, and that's just doing things like um, changing out the image and um, optimizing what's loading on the page. Uh, now, I haven't done anything with the plugins. That's what I'm about to do, and I just thought I would show you what was required to get there. So, under the settings, I've, set, I've turned this on save it and now we can go to global and we can say what we want to turn on or what we want to turn off globally. In order to do that we're going to drag something from those that are available from the left side over to the right. So this is again globally. Um, so for example Thrive Ultimatum I don't need uh, globally. I only want it to appear on the page where I'm going to be using a uh, ultimatum countdown. Uh, I do, let's see, clever widgets. You know, again, I, I don't think I need that globally. Maybe I do, I don't know. Uh, but we'll see. So I don't have a lot turned on. Uh, this was the main one that I wanted to see uh, how it would impact the load time because that's one of the feedback I'm getting from page speed is that ultimatum is causing a little bit of a delay. Not much, and the more important part is I don't need it on the home page so I'm going to disable it. Okay, so by dragging them over and saving I'm now no longer getting these two on every single page that loads. So if we come over to here where I have the 84 and reanalyze, I'm hoping that'll come down just a bit. Uh, it came up just a bit. Uh, so now to show you on the individual pages, for example, let's go to a post. To test this, to show you what I mean, I'm going to bring in Contact Form 7. I am going to uh, uh, have it on a page, a single page, the Hello World page, which has a Contact Form 7. You see it right there. Um, and then I've got a sample post without Contact Form 7. There's just some sample content here. And as you can see from this filter, I am still getting the plugin uh, JavaScript for Contact Form 7 loading. So the theory here now is I should be able to go over to the settings for the plugin organizer. I should be able to um, undo or, or tell Contact Form 7 to disable. I'm going to drag it over here. I'm going to save these changes. And now at this point, Contact Form 7 should load on no pages because we haven't we haven't overridden it. We've told it, you know, globally just don't load it, right? So let's test that first. Let's go over here and refresh this page. And what I'm looking for, there it went. The contact form went away. 
okay and as we can see by the filter we no longer are getting any contact form 7 stuff loaded so if I go to this post the hello world post and I turn that on hello world I'm gonna just press F5 to refresh this page and then scroll down and I'm going to drag contact form 7 back into the available items for this page so if I update Oh, and one thing I didn't show you, I'm sorry, sample form. See, it does have the contact form 7, so if I refresh, the only thing that we're seeing now, is, of course, is the name, because I put contact form 7 in the name, uh, but no, no, other uh, no other resources are loading there. So we've saved this, right? Let's go back over to Hello World. Let's refresh the page. We should now see our contact form 7, which we do. And if we come back over here, refresh this page, we should not see that loading, which we do not. So that's basically it in a nutshell. Um, you set them globally first uh, to turn off the ones that really only need to be loaded on specific pages. Um, and then on the individual post or page, you drag them out of disabled into the available items for that particular page. So that's Plugin Organizer. It's a little complicated to set up. It's not really super intuitive, but it is stable. It's well liked. There's a lot of downloads. It's got a five star rating. So I think this is a good plugin for us. I hope this has been helpful. Let me know if you have any questions, though, or need help setting it up.